Rihanna described the collection to the New York Times as if Marie Antoinette was going to the gym and needed something to wear. It included do-rags, skirts, ruffled parkas, silky zip-up hoodies, and other items with lace detailing that almost resembled cozy sleepwear. She once more took the Fenty Puma experience to the Bibliothèque Nationale de France for her fall-winter 2017 collection. Her most recent Fenty Puma collection, which drew inspiration from traditional collegiate fashion, was perfectly displayed in the library. Before we continue if you are new to this channel please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get updated each time we post thank you. The traditional school uniform was modernized with floor-length plaid coats and knit sweaters with a crotch. Coats and hats were adorned with chenille patchwork that was taken from letterman jackets. Ringer t-shirts with graphics resembled gym uniforms. In remembrance of the school bully, necklaces featured brass knuckles. We also saw black hoodies with detention slips imprinted on the chest, which were very literal interpretations of the school experience. Rihanna said in an official press release about the collection, when I was in school, it was always my dream to be able to dress however I wanted. I had so much fun creating these back-to-school inspired looks this season because wearing a school uniform was required in Barbados. Fenty, but not the X Games. During the Fenty Puma Spring 2019 presentation during New York Fashion Week, we were all treated to exactly that. The New York Armory was transformed by Rihanna into a motocross course with pink sand dunes and steep ramps. Models walked the course's perimeter wearing fluorescent gear that was influenced by extreme sports, as riders flew into the air to perform tricks that seemed to defy death. The runway featured glitzy anoraks with a variety of buckles, bodysuits with racing-inspired logos, enormous fanny packs with mesh paneling, and loose-fitting cargo pants in a variety of striking colorways. Rihanna even rode a dirt bike when she did her last walk. Rihanna demonstrated that she had sparked excitement and introduced a novel approach to the storied sportswear brand with this memorable spectacle. Sadly, that was the last Fenty Puma performance we saw. Rihanna made the announcement that her collaboration with Puma would be her last shortly after her Extreme Spring 2018 presentation. She stated, New York is where the story of Fenty Puma began, and for my final collection with them. It was not even something to think twice about, in an interview with Vogue editor at large Hamish Bowles. Rihanna launched her own lingerie line, Savage X Fenty, a few months later. The company has since expanded to include men's loungewear, activewear, and partnerships with Mitchell and Ness and the NFL, in honor of her Super Bowl 57 halftime performance. In April of 2018, the final Fenty X Puma activation took place at Coachella. It was a day party that revolved around the vibrant motocross imagery that she showed off in her amazing spring 2018 show. The Fenty Puma partnership appears to have resumed seemingly out of nowhere. Like Michael Jordan's famous I'm back facts to announce his return to the Chicago Bulls after his first retirement in 1995, the announcement was brief and to the point in true